So before we go on to pick out your bonds and your options and your money market, what I want you to do is find out the prices for all those funds. So go to your second page of your worksheet. Now you're going to go into data, import external data, say import data, click on that, and it's going to say, okay, what you want to import, and I want to import some stock quotes. So I'm going to open that, and they're going to say, okay, where am I going to put this information? I say, I'm going to put it on the second sheet. I'm here. I say, okay, and then it's going to ask me for the symbol. So I'm going to go back to my sheet symbol. I'm going to move this out of my way and say, these are all the names of all my symbols. These are the symbols I want you to look up for me. I'll say, okay, and guess what? It's going to go ahead and get that information for me. And here are all my stock prices. And I can go ahead and every week when I update, this is how easily I can update my prices for all the different things I bought. So, of course, since I don't have them totally in order, I have to copy and cut it to different places until I have them where they need to be. Right? So they're listed with under the name of that fund. Okay, so now we have the prices on our stocks and you have the prices on your funds. Now we need to look at bonds. What I like to use is the Yahoo bond screener. What I want you to do is find a bond not maturing very recently. We'll be talking about duration, so I'll give you an idea later of what kind of bonds you should choose. But we're going to use the bond screener, so go to the bond page, go to the bond screener. And I usually say, okay, I want to look up a corporate bond. I only want you to buy corporate bonds. If you have a coupon range, you can put it in that range. And I think I don't want to look at anything lower than 6%. Maximum, I'm going to put any, any maximum in there. I'm not going to put a Fitch's rating. I'm going to look at anything. So I'm going to find all bonds that yield more than 6%. Now, I could have also put a maturity date. Notice that they'll be coming up once maturing most recently. So what I should do is I'm going to go back to my screener, and I'm going to put a maturity date in there so I don't have to look at something too recent. So um, maturity range, I'm going to go ahead and put at least they're going to mature at least in one year. So that's, I won't have anything coming due really soon so that at least maybe the bond will be out there for a little while. So here are all the bonds maturing with them that are up for sale. It gives us your Fitch's rating. We'll talk about what this means. The coupon rate on the bond, what's, what's the yield to maturity is, and whether it's callable, right? I would prefer you not buy a callable bond because it might get called, of course, during the semester. I would like you to hold on to it sooner, longer than that. So you're going to look for a bond that you want to buy. And I'm looking at the bonds right now. And notice that most of these bonds are trading, trading above, above premium price, right? So, okay. I think I'm going to do Dole Food. So I'm going to buy Dole Food, okay? So this is the bond I think I want to buy. So... I'm going to choose, cho choose this one, and what I like doing is I like, the easiest way to do this is I'm going to copy and paste this right here into my portfolio because then when I click on it, if I copy and paste this right like that into my Excel file, I can click on this and guess what it does? It automatically brings me to the page where it gives me the information of what Dole Food is trading at. It shows me the price, the coupon rate, maturity date. Now I want to put that all into my screen here, though. So I have 102 is my price. I'm going to put in my maturity so I can look it up again in case it does um, stop trading. So let's see is May 1st, 2009. And I meant to put in, I'm sorry, I'm having some typing mistakes here. 2009. And my coupon rate is 8.625%, I think it was. Let me make sure. I have that right. 
8.625%. There are 28 bonds for sale. So that's the maximum I can buy. So that's going to be what I'm going to go ahead and buy. I'm going to buy 28 bonds. All right? Okay. And if you want to choose more bonds, you can go back. And I can go back here, go into my bond screener again, and say, okay, do I want another bond? And I can look at another page and say, okay, what other bonds can I buy? And... I think I'll go ahead and buy, and I would rather you not buy anything with the name federal in it because this is an agency bond and I'd rather you not buy an agency bond. So let's go ahead and buy, I like this, oh. It's a callable bond, it's triple C rated. I don't think I'll buy Dayton Superior. But it has a very nice yield there, doesn't it? Um, let's go ahead. I'm looking. Hopefully you're in the screen and you're looking at your bonds too. That you might want to buy. And I think I'm going to buy this. It's a Bull Water. Bull Water Inc. Again, I'm going to copy and paste it into my portfolio, and I'll take over all the rest of the information. I'm not going to do it now and waste your time. Okay?